the concrete deck has been removed and you can see how the abutment had been constructed right up to the underside of the concrete deck. Now the existing steel can be removed and the abutment construction can be completed. At the south abutment the construction can also be completed since the steel is gone and that will pave the way for erecting the new structural steel. Here's a view with the old steel removed and the formwork is in place for the remainder of the abutment. And this is the setup for the steel erection. It takes place at night. They waited till about 10 p.m. and at that point they could take the traffic on that roadway down below and limit it to just a single lane and they would alternate the traffic in that single lane. When it was finally time to lift a piece of steel, which is illustrated in this photo, then the traffic would have to be shut down altogether until the piece was uh, secured in place. I have some video showing the nighttime operation to erect the new steel. Here you can see the traffic is moving in the eastbound direction in just a single lane and they will alternate to give uh, each direction a chance. The hydraulic crane has arrived. This is a pretty uh, high capacity crane. The new steel girders are over 130 feet long, so this is quite a heavy pick. Now they've created a space for the crane which will allow the crane to fully extend its outriggers and still allow one lane of traffic to squeeze by. So this is this is making uh, the most of the situation. The public uh, is, is always allowed one lane one direction at, at a time because there was space available to do that. That is not always the case. When the crane is in place, it needs to extend its outriggers. And because of the heavy loads involved, it creates these pads underneath the outriggers in order to distribute the load. And it's not just a single pad. In this case, it was uh, two pads first one went down seemed to be uh, somewhat more flexible and the second one was rigid. So you need to install eight of these pads before the crane is fully operational. Here I wanted to point out there is no counterweight on this crane, so it's still not ready to pick a heavy load. And the counterweight has to be assembled. It's brought in sections on different trucks, and all of that has to be stacked up and fully assembled. And then the crane can uh, lift it onto itself. And then and only then is it finally ready to make a pick. Here 
the truck has delivered some of the elements of the counterweight. This actually looks like the starter section, which will go down first, and then more trucks will arrive with the various uh, layers of uh, weight. All of that is assembled, and then the crane actually hoists it up onto itself. set them down and more layers will be delivered and added to these and then the crane rotates 180 degrees and picks it up onto the back of the cab. And finally we're picking up the first steel member. Uh, this is the girder being delivered. Now the hydraulic crane is ideally suited for this kind of activity, but to give you a time reference, it took two hours from the start of this uh, evening's uh, activity before the crane could actually make this first pick. So the setup time was two hours and it will take probably about another two hours at the end of the shift to take down all of the counterweight, etc., and send the crane away.